What's happening, traders? Welcome to another live trading session. It's Emmanuel from Live With Facts, and today we're in the charts. We're taking a look at gold. Before we dive into you know any sort of trade today, before I take anything, give you a quick breakdown of what I see with gold. Um, overall, gold has been in a bias market. Prices you know, have been trending higher. Gold is currently making an all-time high, and that's what we see right now with price just you know pushing higher. And this week we saw. Gold prices make an all-time high as price traded, you know, up to the uh, 22 um, hundreds. Taking a look at gold right now, we've gotten a pullback from yesterday and today. So as I come into the market today, I still ultimately want to go with the overall flow of the institutions, which is, you know, what the higher time frame are doing. You know, uh, buyers being buyers, I would like to be a buyer. What we see here is we have a solid push to the upside. And then we've seen this pullback, but overall it hasn't changed the direction because from a market structure standpoint, we still have this low in place and we still have this main low in place. So in order for sellers to come into the market, we likely have to see price trade uh, below this uh, December 23rd high and continue moving lower. But as of right now, it is still a buyer's market. So it's in my best interest to for a uh, a buy opportunity. So scaling down to the lower time frame here, you know, what I have mapped out is uh, the fact that price has traded into a larger accumulation zone and the accumulation zone is right here. This was the start of the big push that took place on March 20th, right? And you know, price just pushed up significantly from FOMC, which is a trade that we took in the Lift Free FX community. And I posted this trade right when it was here and you know, let you know the members in the community know, hey, this is what you can likely expect for gold. And I did take a trade and results were okay. <laughs> it was pretty good. Overall though, um, right now I'm taking a look at gold on the five minute time frame right now. But knowing that the higher time frame is still bullish, but we are maintaining quite the bearish momentum and bearish market structure on the lower time frame. So I believe it's really important to be patient with price and see what the market wants to do. If we get a break out of this accumulation zone, I will likely look to get involved in a buy. But if the market continues to break lower, I may consider a sell. So it's gonna be a give and take as the rest of the session continues. We're gonna see what price wants to do. Right now, we're starting to see a lot of liquidity come into the market. Wow, okay, so I just wanna see a close for price above. And now I'm gonna get involved in this buy right there. And I'm gonna replace my stop loss to the downside right here, um, which would put me at around, you know, I like to do 36 peps. And uh, right now we're seeing a, a strong bullish momentum coming to the market. And my first take profit is going to be uh, 30 peps, right? I have the 30 pep rule and I usually look to take something right around here. So it's gonna be slightly above this high right there. If price trades above here, I'm going to be taking, you know, 30 peps off the table. We're up around 500. Uh, dollars on this trade and of course my broker of choice is Arbitrate. you know they're a regulated broker this is part of the trading game you got to show up each day and you got to do the same thing you got to put in the work it is friday i'm normally not in the market too big on fridays but my philosophy is you got to come in sometimes and you got to find opportunities this week was uh was a little bit of a was i wouldn't say it was a tough one it was just you know monday price didn't go in my favor i had a winning uh, day on Wednesday. Overall, still up for the week, but not by anything significant. Coming in and we're just you know, following our own process, doing what we do and seeing if the market is going to be gracious enough to give us something, right? I hope you guys have had a pretty solid trading week so far. Then as you continue your trading, always remember to just maintain a high degree of consistency in the market when you're winning and when you're losing. And I think that's the key lesson, you know, for me for this week. Wednesday made up for all my previous losses, but I was still a good loser. I never doubled down. I never tried to come back into the market during the off time to you know, try to make money or anything like that. I just continued to execute and take my opportunities and take my trades as they were presented to me. So that's what really the most important thing overall as a trader, you gotta keep showing up and you gotta keep doing the same thing. Consistency, consistency, consistency. Give the market some consistency and it'll give you consistency in return consistency in your process and you'll get consistency in your outcome. All right, so right now we're up around 20 peps and price is moving beautifully, getting a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful trade here. Let's see there, that's 30 peps. So I'm gonna close 
half of my trade on here. Beautiful. Okay. So now this is this is it. So I'm going to move my stop loss to break even right there on my second position. So I have paid myself for the time that I've been sitting here, uh, which is almost, you know, about an hour. So I came in here at uh, 730, didn't execute this trade, <laughs> obviously, until you know, a couple of minutes ago. But, you know, I've still I've still paid myself for the time that I'm sitting here. So now my focus is as the market continues to push higher, create new market structure right create a new low i am going to trail my stop loss and see if price is going to uh, ride that but i wouldn't be surprised because we haven't exactly had the pullback to the downside yet i still wouldn't be surprised if price does decide that it wants to pull back but overall i have secured 1500 dollars for today i'm cool with that let's see what price wants to do if the market wants to continue moving higher or if price wants to pull back a little bit and, and stop us out of the trade. Move my stop loss down to this low. So right now I'm securing around $465 on this trade here. So yeah, this is this is it. It's not even 7.30 yet, or it's not even 8.30 yet. And we've pretty much already done almost two grand on gold here. I'm very, I'm very grateful. And the week off, pretty solid, pretty good. Normally I'm not, big on trading Fridays, but when you have had the week <laughs> of uh, uh, when, when sometimes I find when the week's not going well, you are like it, it drives you to, OK, still come into the market. The most important thing is to not come into the market with the desire to make up for your previous losses. Don't let that be your main driving factor. Yes, you're going to feel the need to come in and OK, well, I got to I got to still take advantage of the opportunity. It's important to come into the market and just trade your strategy. That's it. That's it, guys. If you can do that, nothing else matters. You know, nothing else matters if you can do that. So we're seeing price push to the upside. Now, for a lot of you guys who are interested in finding a trading community where you can be around like-minded individuals, Live Free Effects community is uh, which we just launched is the place to be. I'm in there doing live trading session like this. You can come in to join me in the live trading sessions, ask me questions. I'll break down my thought process, essentially what I'm doing right now. We do that on Tuesdays and on Wednesdays at 7.30 to about 10.30 Eastern. We're normally done before 10.30 Eastern, so just a couple of hours, depending on the day. Some days I may also host it on Thursdays as well, but it's a great place for members to see my thought process, learn how I am managing my trades and also break down, you know, other trades uh, as well. Trade ideas, live private chat, accountability room. We will hold you accountable to your goals, to your trading process. Live webinars where, which is going to be hosted today on Friday. And that's a place where you can ask me anything, any single question that you have. We dive into it and performance tip, which, you know, I share to the group. Definitely check that out. Back to the charts, we're on gold right now. We're up around $1,500 on this trade. You know, I just want, I just want a little bit, whatever the market's gonna give me, price is going to keep pushing higher. You know, you know when you come into the market and you don't have any expectations, but you're still looking for price to give you more, it's always one of those. So right now, what we're seeing is price pushing. You know, I think I'm just gonna close this trade, man. I'm gonna get out, walk away, and, and that's, you know, that's it. That's it. I think I'm done. That's it. You know, for coming into the market today, I am very pleased to have made $2,300 in uh, 20 minutes. So thank you guys for tuning in to another live trading session. I you know, hope you guys are out there living free. Love.